Okay, so you've probably already seen Google's new Gemini tree release, the model that they've come out with and the app builder. There's been hundreds of videos on that, but what I haven't seen a lot of videos on is the severely underrated analyze a video feature that they've also come out with and to me is one of the most practical features that we can use as ai agency owners so in this video i'm going to break it down i'm going to show you how we can use it to create videos to create social media posts and to really do anything that involves a video so without further ado let's get straight into it okay so before we get into the anytime workflows let me show you exactly how it works over in the consumer app so over here on youtube we have a podcast clip i'm going to copy the url I'm going to take that URL and I'm going to come over here to aistudio.google.com. We're going to come over to the playground section and just put in that video and ask it, can I analyze the video? So I'm going to say, what's in this video? I'm going to put the video in and as you can see, it pastes the video and it's now going to analyze that full video or output exactly what's inside it. Now, the reason this can be useful for us is because we can use these podcast clips to create social media posts, LinkedIn posts, etc. But we can also use this feature to output an analysis of a video and then create an AI version of it. So you can see here the video is a clip of Joe Rogan Experience podcast featuring a guest, Theo Vaughn. The discussion covers political figures, conspiracy theories regarding Jeffrey Epstein, Dark Humor, and about prison life. So it analyzes the full video and outputs this for us. Now, how can we use this in a practical sense? Well, over here you can see we have this analyze a video node. And in here, we can put in a text input of exactly what we wanted to do with this analysis or how we wanted to analyze a video. Then we have to put in an input type where we can put in a binary file, or we can put in a video URL. And in this video URL, you can put in a YouTube clip, you can put in a TikTok clip, you can put in Instagram, you can really put in any sort of video clip. Now to connect to that, you're gonna come over here and press the plus button. We're gonna look up Gemini. And in here in Google Gemini, we're gonna scroll down to the bottom and you can see we have an analyze video node. To connect to this node, you'll come up here, press create a new credential. And as you can see, it's asking me for an API key. To get the API key, come back over to where we just were in this aistudio.google.com. Come down here to get an API. And over here in the get an API key, you can create a new API key up here if you don't have one. Give it a name, maybe NHN. Select a cloud project. If you don't have a cloud project, there'll be a demo one down here that you can use. Or you can just create a project where you just have to give it a name and press create key. And then it'll output something like this where you can copy the key, bring it over, and then just paste it in here, and then you're fully connected to the Gemini API key. Now to use this in a practical sense to create a LinkedIn post, I have a form here which is gonna take in the video URL. We're gonna pass that through to this analyzer video, and we're gonna say, what's in this video? I want to create a LinkedIn post talking about the contents of this video in my own voice and make it sound like my thoughts. So we're gonna give it this prompt and then we have to put in the video URL, which we get from the form over here. Now, now let's say I wanted to use this podcast clip, which is the best way to reset your body naturally. Let's come in here and copy the share link for this video. I'm gonna copy the link for this video. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna input it in this form. So what this form is gonna do is it's gonna take in the video URL. We're gonna pass that video URL over here to Gemini. Gemini is gonna create the LinkedIn post. I'm gonna give this Gemini one more prompt to say, we're gonna say create the LinkedIn post for this analysis. And this is gonna analyze the video and output a LinkedIn post. And then we're gonna post this straight to LinkedIn. So in here, I'm gonna firstly run this once. I'm gonna put in the video URL. And when I click submit, then you can see we get the output, which will be the video URL. Over here, we, have, we are going to use the video URL that we get from the form. When we run this now, it's gonna analyze the video and hopefully output the LinkedIn post in which we will put over here in LinkedIn in the text section. So I'll post it straight to LinkedIn. When it finishes up, we can click in here and we can see the output. Based on this video involving Dr. Alan Goldhammer, founder of the True Net Worth Health Center and the diary of the CEO, here's a breakdown of the, key of the key takeaways, followed by three options for a LinkedIn post in your voice. The core themes of this value is the reset concept, etc so it analyzes the full video then in here i'm going to add a cloud node we're going to come up here use anthropic and we are going to we're going to message a model over here in this model let's use cloud sonar 4.5 it's the best at writing linkedin posts and i'm going to say use this video analysis to output a linkedin post that i can use we're going to use that as a prompt down here i'm going to put in the text from the analyzer video Now that we have the text for the analyzer video, I can now run this module. 
this should output the exact post that we can use. So over here, when Claude finishes up, it outputs the actual post. And as you can see here, we schedule downtime for our technology, but rarely for our bodies. I recently dove into the science behind fasting with Dr. Alan Goldhammer, the founder of True World Health Center, and it completely shifted my perspective on what it means to rest. So you can see there, it uses, tries to create it as if it's my thoughts and creates a LinkedIn post for us. If we wanted to post this on LinkedIn, then we'd use this LinkedIn node, create a post, and we would just put the text over here and drop it in here. Media category is just maybe an article, or we can use none if we want it to be a normal post. And when we run this all together by executing this workflow, uploading the URL, it will do all of that process for us and upload it to LinkedIn. Now what happens if you want to generate videos or create TikTok shorts, etc. So over here you can see I have a uploaded video which is going to upload a short to my YouTube channel. And how we're gonna do that is again, we're gonna use the same form which we're gonna upload a URL. We're gonna feed that URL over here into the analyzer video. And in the prompt here we say, what's in this video? I want to know so I can recreate this short with an AI model that generates YouTube and TikTok shorts. We're going to take that analysis, put it into here, which is a generated video. And to get that, you're going to come over here to the same section over here in Gemini. Google Gemini, come down here to the generated video. Use this one. And in this generated video, we are going to use the resource as video, operation, generate a video. And in here is where we are going to give it the prompt to recreate the video. We're going to return it as a video rather than a URL. When we return it as a video, we can come over here to YouTube. We can use the input binary field, which is going to use the data from the previous node that generates a video and post it directly to my YouTube channel. So to show you exactly how this works, let's come over here and find a YouTube short that we could possibly recreate. Okay, so let's recreate this ASMR video. So you can come down here to the share section should give us a URL in which we can copy. We're gonna bring it back over here to Gemini and we're going to firstly run this form so we can see what the output is like. Up here, we are going to input the URL like the last one. We can click submit and this is gonna output a URL for us. Over here, we're going to use that URL. So grab the video URL, drop it in here and it's going to analyze this video and create a script for the short. We can execute this now. It's gonna analyze that video. So you can see here, it gives us a breakdown of the video. It says over here, video content summary, title, cutting glass, avocado, ASMR, a hyper-realistic sculpture of an avocado made entirely of trans translucent, smoky green glass with a glossy brown glass pit. Action, a knife slices through the glass avocado. With calm precision, the video focuses on the satisfying visual of the clean cut. So we're gonna use that over here in the generator video. I'm gonna bring this over and I'm gonna drop it in here. And I'm going to say, we are creating YouTube and TikTok shorts. Use this video analysis to recreate it. Now when we execute this, it's gonna go ahead, create that video for us, and then we can upload it directly to YouTube. Okay, so we can see when this generated video is finished. If we click in here, we can view the video. So it creates that video for us, in which we can use over here in the upload a video. And in this input binary field, it's just gonna be the exact same name as the generated video. So you can see up here, the generated video is called data. We're gonna bring that over and drop it in here. And then for me, I've added an option, which is description, and I've added in hashtag shorts. So it posts it as a short. So when we execute this step, it would post it as a short, and that's how we could recreate a bunch of video. So the full process would be to execute this workflow. We would put in a URL, and once we put in the URL and click submit, then it would do the full process of analyzing the video, generate a video, and then uploading it. We wouldn't have to do all of them steps manually. I was just doing that in this video to show you exactly how it works step by step. But that's basically it for this video. I just wanted to show you how to use this analyzer video feature. Obviously, there is a range of different stuff that have more practical use than what I showed you in this video. But that was just an example to show you what could be done. If you were a content creator, maybe you could use it for scraping your competitors' videos and analyzing all of the top videos so you can recreate them for yourself. But there's a range of different stuff that you can do. If you want to download these templates and learn from me how I scaled my agency, to over 100k per month then click the first link in the description but that's going to be it for this video leave a like subscribe let me know in the comments what videos you want to see next